Hey everyone, it's Brad from Amplified Parts. Today we are going to replace the speakers in a Super Reverb. While the speakers still function, these cones are worn out and warped. You can see the warping here. First thing we will need to do is get all of them out. We will want to make a note of all the wires and all the connections. Each of the speakers has a positive and negative terminal. We want to make sure when hooking up to new speakers that all of these are in phase. There are quick disconnects for the spade terminals which make things nice and easy. Some amps will be hard soldered and require a soldering iron. We will now remove the connectors followed by the speakers. For this amp, we will be using the Jensen P10R speakers. These are very similar to the original speakers. Notice the lack of dust domes, the seams and the cones, and the similar ribbed pattern. These both have Alnico magnet speakers, which are about the same size. When we are putting in the new speakers, we are going to be careful of the screws, since we're putting the paper cone face down towards them. We're lining up each of the holes and carefully lowering the speakers into place. Before using our tools, we are going to thread the hardware back by hand to avoid cross-threading. We can see this screw is slipping. This isn't uncommon for an amplifier of this age. Luckily, we can access the screw's head from the other side. We will want to make sure the screws that aren't slipping have their hardware secured to keep the speakers in place. With that out of the way, we can finish tightening down all of the hardware. We want it tight, but not too tight, since that will bend the basket. Now we can reconnect our wires using the notes we took previously. We will now use our multimeter to check the DC resistance. This will give us an idea of whether or not the impedance is off. This one looks good. The next test we perform uses a battery to check the speaker polarity. With the battery's negative terminal on the sleeve and the positive terminal on the tip, we should see the speaker cone pop outward. Everything is looking good, so we are ready to button this one back up. A link to the P10R can be found in the description below. We also have a link for the magnetic tray we were using throughout this video, which is a super helpful tool for projects like this. Keep an eye out for the final video of our Super Reverb series. Thanks for watching!